Welcome to this video in which we will be making the 3D CAD model of this press machine. The sequence of the video is as follows. First we will be making the upper plate, then the lower plate, then the bush, then we will be making the pillars and finally we will assemble all of these elements in order to make the 3D CAD model of the press machine. So let's begin. First of all open a part file in order to make the basic sketch. Go to sketch, select front plane, click on sketch, make a center rectangle at the origin and then select smart dimensions. Set the dimension of this line as 250 millimeter. Make sure that you have selected MMGS as and units. then set this line to 150 mm. Now select the fillet. This one, select these two lines and 10 mm fillet is OK. Select these two lines, then these two and finally these two lines. After that, click OK. Now the fillet has been applied. Now go to features, select extruded boss base and extrude this up to 30 millimeter. Click OK. And then select this face, click on sketch and then make a circle here. Select smart dimensions. From this line to the center line, the distance is 50 millimeter. And the diameter of the circle is also 50 millimeter. After that, select the circle again and make a circle here. Similarly, make a circle here as well. Now select the smart dimensions. The diameter of the circle is 25 millimeter. Similarly, the, the diameter of this circle is also 25 mm. And then from center to this line, the distance is 30 mm. Similarly, the center to this vertical line, the distance is also 30 mm. We will do the same thing to the other circle as well. This one. From center to this horizontal line, 30 mm. And from center to this vertical line, the distance is 30 mm. And now we have to make uh, two more circles and we will use the mirror entities for that. But before that, make a center line from origin to here. Make sure this is 180 degree. Okay. And then select the mirror entities. And entities to mirror, select these two circle. And mirror about this center line. So these two circles have been created. And now save this uh, file as upper plate and save it again as lower plate go to file save as and save it as lower plate so this is a basic sketch we will use this sketch to make the lower plate and the upper plate okay exit the sketch and cross this window now it's time to make the upper plate for that click on file and click on open select this upper plate okay and now edit this sketch this one click on edit sketch select this line and make it as construction geometry then go to features and select extruded cut uh, select this through all option it's better after that click ok and four holes has been created and now select this face, click on sketch and make a 50 mm circle. The diameter of this uh, circle is 50 mm. From this line to the center, the distance is 50 millimeter. Okay. And now we have to go to features and select this extruded boss base. Select this to blind and extrude it up to 90 millimeter and then click OK. 
now let's apply some color I am applying this brass you can apply any and now it's time to make the lower plate but uh, before that save this file and then open the lower plate here lower plate click on open we have this basic sketch select extruded cut select through all and here we have the lower plate so apply some color to this I am applying similar brass to this uh, lower plate press ctrl s or manually save this and now it's time to make the bush for that open a part window make this to plain white select the sketch and make a circle at the front plane region like this and make another circle somewhat bigger now select the smart dimension set the lower uh, uh, circle diameter as 25 mm and the bigger circle diameter as 40 millimeter okay now go to features select extruded boss base and extrude this but before that select this mid plane Sixty mm and then click OK. Now it's time to chamfer the faces. For that, drop down this menu and uh, select chamfer. Select this edge and select this edge as well. Set this to two millimeter. And after that, click OK. So our bush is ready. Just apply some color to this. You, you can apply any color you want. I am applying this uh, nickel. Okay. Save this to bush. And now it's time to make the pillar. Okay. For that, open a part file again. Go to sketch, front plane, make a circle at the center. The diameter of this uh, circle is 25 millimeter. Select the extruded boss base command in the features. In mid plane, extrude it up to 200 mm. Okay. And similarly, we will apply the same chamfer command on both the edges 2 mm. And then click OK apply some color I am applying the same color nickel and now it's time to save this uh, file to pillar and open the assembly file in order to assemble the whole machine for that click on new select this assembly this time and then click OK So the assembly file has been opened. Just import the lower plate first. Click on open. And here we have our low, lower plate that we have created earlier. Orient this and then uh, insert the bush that we have created earlier. Click on mate. And select the upper surface of the plate and lower surface of the bush check this option and now select the holes of both of these plate and the bush and then click OK check this option now insert another bush and similarly assemble this uh, to the plate the upper side of the plate and lower side of the bush check this option and then select the holes of both this one and this one and now in order to save our time I am going to use the linear pattern command so select this linear pattern for the direction select this edge and then increases up to 2 and 
components to pattern select these two bushes just flip the direction and increase this number 190 mm is perfect after that click ok and here we have the bushes assembled to the lower plate now insert two pillars now select the outer side of this pillar and the inner side of the bush this one and then click ok similarly do the same thing to the other pillar the axis should not be selected rather this hole uh, should be selected and now select this and the lower face click ok select the pillar and the lower face of the plate and then click ok similarly we will be using the uh, linear component command and in the direction we will be using this similar edge again and in uh, components to pattern select these two pillars flip the direction from here and then click ok so now it's time to insert the upper plate which is the last part to assemble just insert the upper plate and now select this hole click on mate and select this part and then click ok we have to make another mate let me tell you why just because of this so select this face click on mate and select this face and then click ok now it will only move up and down ok so we are done with the assembly and if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you